I think Koreans are, are ready psychologically to see their country play a bigger role in the world, but they have a hard time seeing our alliance uh, as the vehicle or the framework. Uh, many Koreans still view the alliance as a kind of one-way street in which the U.S. defends Korea in return for a strategic presence on the Asian mainland. And some uh, describe our talk of a global alliance as a scheme to pressure Korea into fulfilling U.S. demands for high-risk military deployments. But my sense is that President Lee and his team uh, see the alliance in much broader terms and recognize that it can be a means for uh, ensuring peace in Northeast Asia, uh, dealing with a wide range of common threats, both military and non-military, and in the process, uh, enhancing Korea's influence in global decision making. So I hope the uh, Obama administration will continue to encourage Korea to play a larger global and regional role by uh, promoting more multilateral institution building in East Asia, by pushing for increased defense cooperation uh, between Korea and our other East Asian allies, Japan and Australia, and by promoting more active Korean engagement uh, even with NATO and with other multilateral groups such as PSI. Korea's inclusion in the G20 uh, process to address the global financial crisis, which I think was achieved largely because of U.S. Uh, backing, was, uh, was well deserved in light of the size of Korea's economy, uh, the, uh, the record of, that Korea established after the Asian financial crisis. Uh, and it's also a good way to encourage the Koreans to think globally on other issues. Now, for its part, I think Korea shouldn't wait to be asked when the call goes out for additional contributions to uh, police training or economic development aid in places like Afghanistan. Uh, Koreans should understand that non-military contributions to peace building uh, in the Middle East, Afghanistan, and other parts of the world can be just as valuable as the deployment of combat troops and can certainly serve Korea's national interests. And indeed, uh, cooperation on non-military challenges like climate change or energy security and a greater Korean role in development assistance to the third world should be seen as important ways to broaden and deepen our 21st century alliance. Now let me uh, now shift to the third big challenge during my term as ambassador, uh, upgrading the U.S. Korea economic relationship. And then here we achieved perhaps our most surprising success with the No administration, uh, the negotiation of the Korea-U.S. FTA. Uh, President No's nationalist and redistributionist economic agenda, uh, together with Korea's less than perfect reputation for opening its markets over the years, uh, made the ROK an unlikely FTA partner the United States. But President No actually alienated a large portion of his own political base in pursuing and concluding the FTA, and he endured a steady drumbeat of anti-FTA street protests by Korean farmers and left-wing activists throughout the talks. Uh, he correctly understood that the FTA was essential to, in a sense, force Korea to overcome its protectionist instincts and increase its competitiveness through market opening and acceptance of international standards. The negotiations were, uh, as you know, very hard fought. Korean negotiators were uh, sometimes extraordinarily stubborn. Uh, so it wasn't a surprise that we uh, reached agreement with, with only 20 minutes left on the clock before our congressional negotiating authority uh, expired. But uh, it was certainly worth the effort. The results were uh, truly remarkable. Uh, the gold standard for future FTAs in terms of tariff reduction, <laughs> removal of uh, non-tariff barriers, the provisions on transparency, uh, the IPR protection. And after the ink was dry, uh, Korea swallowed hard and agreed to renegotiate the labor and environmental provisions <coughs> to meet the concerns of our congressional leadership. Now, our one very serious disappointment with President No was his failure to deliver on his promise to President Bush uh, 
during the FTA endgame uh, that it would reopen the beef market in accordance with international scientific guidelines as set by the, uh, the OIE, the World Animal Health Organization. Last December, President Noe's lame duck government did make a proposal for a full opening of the market in, in two stages, but uh, President Noe pulled the plug on this before formal talks could begin, uh, dumping the issue into Lee Myung Bak's lap, and uh, you all know what happened next. I'd say that the beef crisis of, uh, of this year was, and I was expecting a quiet final summer in Korea, but had anything but. <laughs> but I think the beef crisis was, uh, without question, one of the most bizarre and frustrating episodes in my uh, diplomatic career. Now, President Lee did the right thing when he decided to fully reopen the market on the eve of his April summit at Camp David, since he knew that this uh, step had to be taken to convince Congress to move ahead with ratification of the course FTA. But President Lee clearly failed to uh, prepare the public for his decision, uh, in large part because he didn't want to jeopardize the prospects for the GNP in the April 9 parliamentary election. And even though he was offering essentially the same terms that President Noe's team had offered in late 2007, the public had not heard the rationale for such a dramatic move away from the government's established position. So to the public, which was already souring on uh, President Lee's performance in other areas, it looked like their safety concerns were being tossed uh, to the side so that uh, he could get an invitation to Camp David. So as you know, after the beef deal was announced, public opposition grew quickly. Uh, it was directed more against President Lee than against the United States. This information about the safety of U.S. beef was disseminated on the internet and through cell phone text messages, which a lot of Korean young people would tell us were the most credible sources of information compared to the traditional media because uh, they're independent. <laughs> Professional journalists get paid, therefore you can't trust them. <laughs> anyway, a particularly sensationalist, sensationalist and uh, factually distorted TV documentary on the uh, NBC network uh, broadcast in late April caused really what can only be called a nationwide panic that led to the almost three months of nightly candlelight vigils just a few, few, few blocks from the U.S. ambassador's residence. Uh, when the protests were at their peak and uh, on a few occasions turned violent, uh, Lisa and I felt like we were uh, under house arrest, although Habib House is in a bad place. You have to be under house arrest. Now, even though the uh, Lee government's Initial response to the public outcry was, uh, shall we say, a little wobbly. Uh, they never gave in to pressure to scrap the beef deal entirely uh, or to demand its renegotiation, which they know, uh, which they knew would have destroyed uh, Korea's credibility and really doomed the FTA forever. So the folks at USTR and U.S. Department of Agriculture, while they were very frustrated. Uh, they also showed enormous patience and understanding, and they were very responsive to the embassy's recommendations uh, for flexibility in trying to defuse <coughs> the situation. So after, after several false starts, uh, our two governments ultimately did agree in June on a series of temporary measures that uh, restricted imports to beef from cattle under 30 months of age, which are supposedly less susceptible to mad cow disease, until public confidence has been restored. So thankfully, uh, by the end of the summer, I was able to walk the streets of Seoul again, and the true facts of the, about the safety of American beef had uh, re-entered the debate. Uh, the producers of this incendiary NBC documentary were exposed as having falsified some of the main elements of their story, and American beef began to appear in uh, the butcher shops in Korea and literally flew off the shelves. And. I was very pleased to see that just last week, uh, the big supermarket chains finally started to sell U.S. beef as well, and uh, the demand exceeded all expectations. Now, what was most heartening about the beef crisis was the fact that even with all the emotions that were on display and the panic uh, that was reflected by the candlelight vigils, it was interesting the Korean attitudes toward the United States.